Hello YouTube and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Now, if you are seeing I have 100% in this level without me uploading the last video on YouTube, then that is because my computer deleted it. Uh, right before I made this video, I did some stuff and I think I might have saved it. I don't know if I did though. So, I guess I will find that out. You will know by this time, but I will not. But I don't know by this time. I'll, I'll know by the time that you're watching this. So if you're wondering what's up with that, that's what's up with that. Um, so in this episode, we will be doing the last level, which is wizard something. I have ADHD. Don't sue me. Well, I think it's so sue me, but you get the idea. Uh, wizard peaks, that's it. Now, I consider this the hardest, if well, one of, if that, the hardest level in the game to get 100% on. The only reason I was able to do this without looking it up online was because I remember this level from last time. This section right here is so easy to miss, it's not even fun. If you've been trying it for hours, don't worry, I was in the same place when I first played this game. So you just have to run along here. Whoa! Okay. Glide right across here. Whoa! Just a jump. There's some a lot of fodder up here. Again, mountain goats. Yes, I will do this every level. And then against all instinct you must jump. Right, jump. Then grab the two chests right here. And you get back by gliding over to here. Now you go back this way and do this whole part all over again. Why? I'll tell you why. There's a secret area within this secret area. There are so many secret areas that are hard to get to in this level, and that's why I consider it the hardest to get 100%. Overall, I don't even think it's a competition, but to get 100%, yes. Right there. And then, whoa! Grab everything that you can, obviously, that's the whole point of you getting 100%. Grab- whoa! Grab everything that you can. Yeah, kill those guys. I remember being uh, four and my parents would play this game and this was the only level that my they uh, couldn't get. And my dad beat Ninja Gaiden. The original. I think you've gotten everything in here. You, I, we, I'm doing it again. And if you're thinking that you have to, or if you were thinking that you had to do a supercharge up this ramp and then jump, don't worry, you're not the first. Welcome to Wizard Peaks. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. This is actually my second favorite supercharged spot, but you do a lot of supercharging in this level. And you use that ramp for pretty much all of it. Every other secret area in this level requires you to supercharge, and you need that ramp for every other single one. Or these two ramps, anyway. Whoa, did something else break, or was that just a sound glitch? I'm pretty sure that's just a sound glitch. So run down here, run up here, and that's how you get to there. You have to run down that 
both those ramps. If you run down just the one, you will slow down to a stop, and you will probably run right off the cliff if you keep going. I miss those four gems over there. Yes, there is a thief right over there. If you're good, you can hit him with a s right now, before you actually have to chase him. And then to get down, you simply glide over to here. Well, I'm gonna glide over to there. Ha, uh, yay, he's doing my job for me. I love it when they do that. Is that another gem? I think I got that one. Okay. Grab this guy. Thank you for releasing me! Yeah, they shoot you with water. I died! Yeah, he sum even though he summons them, they pop up anyway if you kill them early. I think. Or did I just get all the gems for killing him? <laughs> Another guy killing one of my enemies, that's always nice. I mean... Ah! And again, if you're having trouble with this level, don't worry. I consider myself an expert in all things Spyro. In the first three games, anyway. And even I have trouble with this level. I do not want to hit that wall. Actually, I think it would be better if I did it this way. This level is a lot of back and forth. If you notice too, ah crap. The color of smoke that you have behind you when you run changes as you get faster. It goes none to white to yellow to orange. And orange is really one you want yeah, where you want to be at if you're doing jumps with this. Cause that way when you run up the hill, you can still make the jump. You don't slow down to a dead stop. Actually, you wouldn't slow down to a dead stop anyway, but you'd slow down to a regular run, which is definitely not going to make you. You're going to make the jump. And if you're wondering, yes, you can get to the. Well, I got to this island without. by jumping off that ramp. I don't think you can get to this one because you'll just jump right over it. I mean, you're either too short or too far. Um, oh yeah, I'm almost done with this level. Alright, I think I just might go on to low hard for a little bit. Uh, again, I didn't play through that level doing do a test run, but I'll just go until I can't find anything. Just like last video. Unless I haven't uploaded last video, then just like the video that didn't get uploaded. Alright, here's another thief. You do not catch him in the way that you think. You don't run in circles that tight. Or wide, or I don't know. You just fall into that pit. Catch him by that. And congratulations, that is the last thief in the game. There are no other thieves. Well, there are thieves. There's just no other eggs. That's right, there's no more of those little blue bastards. Did I say there's no more thieves? Or are there's thieves? Uh, there's no blue thieves, trust me. Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan home. It is at the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan home, waterfall. Sounds good. If you have been following the series, you have already done that. The stones that he was talking about were the way to get to the first speedway. And with that, you are done with this level. And 
pretty much the world. So then you just go on to Blowhard. Yes, I've laughed at his name more than once. And yes, I'm a senior in high school. I still think it's funny. Alright, so this is my first time playing this level in four years. Let's see how long it takes me. More of those little green guys that shoot lightning at you. Fun. Huh. These chests. Hi, die. What the hell is that thing? Yeah, I know. There's a jump back there. I'll get it. Oh wait, I think those are in the home world. Are they in a world that I've already seen? Oh, that's blowhard. Haha. <laughs> it has been a long time since I've played this level. At least I think it's blowhard. This is that other guy with all the electronics. And that might be the guy of the next world. Well, this doesn't look fun. If you're wondering how I'm so good, unless you think I'm bad. Hold on a sec. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? <laughs> um, I'm out of here. I have literally been playing a platformer since I've been old enough to... Since I was old enough to hold a controller. The first game I ever played was Super Mario Bros. I know I already said I've been playing this since literally I've been holding, old enough to hold a controller, but I've been playing Mario for longer. I don't even think I got past the first level at 3, but I did beat Super Dodgeball for the Nintendo. I do remember that, and that includes the Shadow Team. Anyway, how many more gems do I have? 400! Well, I mean, a hunger. Yeah, you know. Alright, this is gonna be way shorter than I thought. I'm thinking of another. There's another boss that I'm thinking of that is level super, super long. It's not nasty, I know that. I swear there was one though that took me a few hours last time. I might just be thinking of another level. Yeah, it definitely was a blowhard. Alright, well, that was short. So I guess I can... do the uh, speedway here. I can find it. I think I know where it is. Uh, yeah. I think it's in here, right? Nope. Not in here. Oh! Duh! That dra old dragon was talking about it. There it is. Alright, again, if this is one that I just fail miserably, I'll cut it out. Just like I did in the first one. Oh, I think I remember this one. Right? No, that was Night Flight I'm thinking of. Jeez, from my favorite homeworld, I just don't remember a lot about it. I'm just gonna play this until it becomes obvious where all the uh, things are. Oh, 
Oh, I'm running out of... What the? Oh, crap. I think I lost this one. Yeah, I definitely lost. Alright, let's try this again. Where you been? Right, learn more to give colors. I wonder how many people are actually taught Roy G. Biv. Hmm. You know, I'll let the people who weren't taught it in. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violent. The colors of the rainbow. Roy G. Did. Holy crap. Sorry, I think there's a thunderstorm outside. I can't really tell. Headphones are kind of loud. But if it is a thunderstorm, that was just a loud boom. Stupid Michigan weather. Alright, um... Well, I don't think I'm going to beat it, so I will just... Try to find the plane so that you can... Well, they're right behind you. Like I said, I've never been good at speedways, so if you're looking for a full walkthrough on one, you came to the wrong place. I am sorry about that, and that probably will cost me views, but it's really the truth. So, see you next time on Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Yay, where we do Beast Makers!